Erin, India's third lunar mission is an inch closer to the moon after successfully having completed its final deboosting. The lunar mission took a significant step today and completed its second deboosting operation and it brought the Vikram lander into an orbit of 25 into 134 kilometers above the moon. With this maneuver, the required orbit for the lander module to commence its descent towards the surface of the moon is achieved. Now remember, the spacecraft entered the lunar orbit on August 5th and is scheduled to make a soft landing on the moon's surface on August 23rd between 17.30 to 18.30 hours Indian Standard Time, which is 5.30 to 6.30 Indian Standard Time. And uh, India is excited. We're all counting down to that moment when we touch down the South Pole uh, off Moon. But you must have been speaking to our scientists in ISRO. How's the Josh? No, absolutely, absolutely. And as you rightly said, India is excited. But what is, I think, uh, the best part of it and what is peculiar about this uh, mission is that uh, while India, of course, for obvious reasons, every Indian feels proud and also uh, is, is taking it as, as, as something which is going to enhance his... Uh, prestige and esteem. But the matter of fact is that actually the entire world is now looking up to Chandrayaan hmm. and uh, they have a lot of expectations. So, there is a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of uh, uh, inquisitiveness, a lot of curiosity because this Chandrayaan series is known to uh, get home inputs which are quite exclusive, which have not been obtained by the earlier missions and that has been the record even with the Chandrayaan 1, hmm. we discovered the evidence of the presence of water molecules uh, uh, through spectrometry, uh, which was something new even for the American scientists. Yes. Uh, even though they had already landed a human being on the surface of the moon way back in 1969. Hmm. So, this time, as you rightly said, the, the location of this landing is absolutely virgin. Hmm. This toward the South Pole, most of the earlier missions have landed close to the equator. So, this is a rather unexplored terrain, maybe slightly difficult terrain as well, but which offers greater avenues and a greater and a larger room for experimentation, both in the terms of the presence or otherwise of uh, water and its ingredients like hydrogen, oxygen, which have some kind of a direct or an incorrect uh, uh, relationship with the compatibility or possibility of human habitat or human life. Mm -hmm. So, that makes it quite interesting. And I would rather say that this is Chandrayaan, which for the first time, uh, led the world or prompted the world to find scientific answers to the mysteries which had haunted us all the you know through the generations uh, it was it was a matter of faction fiction looking up to moon and imagining if there were people living over there and then literature poetry f f cinema f f fantasizing that yes. so for the first time it was chandrayaan which prompted the scientific world to actually discover scientific answers this way or that way so i think that's a huge breakthrough